in acute pancreatitis, we could sometimes find uh, multiple fat necrosis in the peripancreatic adipose tissue. And here we see how the fat necrosis looks like under the microscope. In these parts, we had normal viable adipose tissue. Uh, this is the lymph node. And here we see multiple foci of uh, necrosis of the adipose tissue. This type of necrosis is also called pulsar necrosis. It is caused by aggressive pancreatic enzymes. In the case of acute pancreatitis or pancreatic necrosis, these aggressive enzymes get to the peripancreatic adipose tissue and they cause autodigestion. We can see these foci macroscopically as white chalky deposits. Normal viable adipocytes have a clear, empty cytoplasm and uh, fat necrosis looks like this amorphous, slightly eosinophilic tissue. Nuclei and the cytoplasmic membranes are lost and we see only shadow of, uh, shadows of the cells. Around the fat necrosis we can usually find these uh, foamy macrophages and uh, mild chronic active inflammation composed of lymphocytes, plasma cells and some neutrophils. Sometimes we can find these small foci of calcification uh, which occurs via the process called saponification. The free fatty acid, uh, acids react uh, with the calcium and they create calcium salts. So this is similar chemical reaction as in soap production. And here we have some other foci of fat necrosis with prominent fiber production in the adjacent tissue. Thanks for watching.